Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn how to generate insert statements from text files for SQL Server table. There are multiple ways we can do that. Maybe we will create a table first by reading the definition of a file and then use the import export wizard or maybe simply use the import export wizard in SSMS and create the table while we are loading the data. And then from there, we use SSMS to generate the scripts with data that's one way but uh, today i'm going to show you guys how to convert even your uh, tab delimited file or pipe delimited file uh, uh, into the uh, excel first load to the excel and then use excel formulas to generate uh, your insert statements um, so here i have this file called customer tab and uh, if you take a look here we have id first name last name age date of birth and salary so these are the columns we have and then this is the data now let's uh, close this one and open excel so go to run and type uh, excel it will open excel our goal is uh, to open this uh, tab delimited file in excel and then write the formulas for insert statement uh, go to the um, this uh, i don't know what you call ribbon or button or, or uh, radio button here and then you say open and uh, once you click on open uh, you need to navigate uh, or browse to the file so here in the videos folder i have that file but uh, this is all excel files i need to click on all files so it will show me customer tab file now hit open now once you will uh, click there it will uh, start text import wizard so you see that it is asking different questions and we know that we have the file that's delimited so it is uh, tab delimited file so we select uh, delimited and then we are going to hit uh, now let me see if there is any other option we have to do it no this is fine and uh, start importing a row one fine we hit next uh, and uh, now you can see that uh, it is a tab it all uh, automatically selected that part uh, we don't have really text qualifier if you have double quotes so uh, you you are fine here and if you have single quotes or uh, none uh, uh, that will work just fine so whatever if even with the default uh, it's gonna work just fine so we don't have to worry about that and hit next uh, and here we can preview our data so you see that we have uh, uh, just leave the general if you want to have import everything as a text uh, you can do that by uh, date uh, you know and these are the different uh, column formats i'm going to leave this one general general converts numeric value to numbers date values to dates and all remaining values to text so that will work fine for me i'm going to hit next so now we have uh, our tab delimited file uh, open in the Excel uh, and from here I can write the formula to create my insert statement uh, so I have done the video on this one already so first of all we need to create uh, the first line of the insert statement uh, that will be something like this so it will uh, n we need uh, to have uh, insert into and uh, table name then we need the column names uh, and that's what we need to produce and then we say values and after that we have to produce these uh, uh, row values so once you provide uh, all these uh, uh, that's all you need so first uh, insert into table and then uh, the values itself so we have uh, excel we can we are going to generate this first line first so let me go back here and they say hit an g or h or anywhere and first of all you will say equal to and then put double quotes so, so that's how you are going to start and uh, we say insert into into dbo customer that's my table name parenthesis start and double quotes around it and then for concatenation i will be using a and sign so i need the first name i don't need the id and then uh, again i need a concatenation and then I need to have comma so I will use double quotes put comma and double quotes and concatenation sign again and then I will select the last name so I have to keep repeat I can copy this part and just paste it here for each of the column and now I need age then I paste this one date of birth and paste this and salary and the end I need concatenation and double quotes and parenthesis close so this will create my also I need to actually insert values keyword here so right after the parenthesis so I will click before the double quotes and type values 
So this will uh, generate the first line for my insert. Um, so you see that insert into table name, F name, uh, last name, age, date of birth, salary. So I got these uh, columns from here. So if you have different column names um, that's not present in your table, you can always hard code if you want. Uh, but in my case, they were same. And uh, that's how I just uh, uh, type it there. Next, uh, we need to generate the values part. Uh, so rows for each of that. Um, so this part we need to generate go back to the excel and here we will say start equal to double quotes and uh, you know that we have to have a uh, single quotes around the string and date so that's what we need and uh, for numbers uh, we don't really care it will be just the number itself so put the double quotes and have single quote here and then uh, double quotes so this is how we are going to sorry first we have to uh, use the parenthesis here single quote and uh, then uh, use uh, the value itself give me a second sorry uh, let me double quotes parenthesis and single quote and uh, double quotes so, so this will uh, generate uh, if you will uh, hit uh, enter this is what it will generate uh, so that will work fine but we need to concatenate the value itself uh, so now we need the value this one and then again uh, we need uh, the quotes uh, single quotes around uh, so we'll put concat again double quotes uh, as we need to add uh, this uh, string value so single quote and a uh, comma and then uh, double quotes and concat uh, so you if you will do that sorry if i will uh, see this is how it will be generated single quotes around this value and we have a uh, comma so now this is good if i will put the uh, concat here and now what i need i can copy this part and paste it over and over and uh, here I need the second value paste it there and uh, that should work just fine and now I need uh, uh, age and uh, after age uh, what I need here um, paste it again and I need single quotes around here as well so I'm putting one single quote or more here after the comma and uh, then I'm bringing uh, the data but pasting the same thing I need to have a closing uh, uh, one that's already there so I'm not worried and uh, here I will bring the salary and then uh, I need the concat and then parenthesis close I need the comma after that and uh, double quotes so you see that the value is created now we have uh, Amir that's in parenthesis Shahzad we are missing a single quote here and then uh, for uh, age we don't need the single quote around it so that's a few of the things we need to fix we need uh, uh, right here C single quote before uh, this uh, C2 and uh, let me push that here now this works just fine for age uh, we have to fix that so it is D2 and uh, you see that uh, we don't need uh, the single quote uh, for the age so if I will go ahead and remove that uh, this part I don't need and hit enter okay so we are making some mistake here uh, we need concatenation here sorry and uh, this should work now and <laughs> sorry we have uh, probably messed up with this one we don't need two d2s so we don't need this uh, d2 let's remove that till here now click it and uh, test it okay we need comma after Shahzad and uh, before the age and remove that one so D2 here we don't need this uh, comma and uh, for this part uh, we need a comma here so I can uh, put a uh, uh, double quotes comma double quotes and this uh, concat now this looks better so we have see for any string values I have single quotes around it and uh, then for Shahzad I don't have single quote I need to have single quote here before the age so I'm gonna fix that one and uh, that's uh, C2 right uh, here and I need a single quote here so you don't need to worry about that part uh, what I'm doing I, I'm showing you and fixing it here I have these formulas on the website so if you go back here and uh, take a look on SSI uh, sorry there's a SQL Server T SQL tutorial and you will see in the chapter 7 and uh, I have this last uh, uh,
topic generate uh, insert statement for text file if you go there you will see all those uh, single quotes and double quotes and everything there um, sorry actually this post I um, I did it till here and uh, as this was uh, the formula was also covered in other one so I uh, wrote okay click here so you can go to that post uh, so it is a uh, post number 103 that's where these formulas are so you see that here so you can copy and paste and just change the columns you have and the rest of that should work just fine and it's just a matter of learning it like okay what do you where you need the single quotes where you don't need the single quotes uh, um, once you will do just first two parts uh, then you will just copy and paste you will understand uh, we need to have a single quote uh, uh, you will always any any string value you need to add uh, you will have double quotes then string value then s double quotes around it uh, so that's not a big deal and here you see that also the date is converted to kind of numbers we have to convert to the date format so I'm going to this is a e and I'm going to use a text function here so we will say text and then comma we have to provide the format so I'm gonna call this one dd um, mm and yyy and double quotes and close it so this will take care of uh, the data so it will give us a, a day month and year now you see here if you have uh, even thousands of records you just have to drag this part here and it will generate the insert statement for you so this is the fun part this is only two lines you have to write those formulas and then you are done so that's good you copy this uh, entire records after that and go back to the SSMS and here you open a new query and paste the last the comma we don't need that and uh, if there are more records yes uh, we will have more rows here but the very last comma with the last row you don't need that you can remove it and now if I will go and run this one it will insert three records in the DBO customer table so that's how you will prepare your uh, query insert uh, sorry insert statements uh, from the text file first of all you will be converting uh, your tab delimited or pipe delimited uh, or whatever the text file you have it into Excel and once you open in Excel then you can write the formulas now again something you will start with equal to sign then put double quotes and any string value let's say if I want to say I want to have a, a, a value uh, a uh, Amir so what I need uh, with these one I need the single quotes with these so that's how it, it is like you, you have whatever the column let's say this is a one so you see that we have single quotes here and then you have concatenation and then you have concatenation here on both sides and you put double quotes uh, and then put the double quotes to have single quote here and as uh, you see we have added a single quote here then we have a value coming from the south then a concatenation double quotes and this is the, for the single quote uh, to include that as a string and after that you, as you also you need a comma for each of that as uh, these are separate value for each of the column so I hope uh, you learned something out of you try it I, it's not hard uh, as I was telling you it is there so you go to the uh, one or three post I can show you that as well like uh, I will put the link uh, for these both post in the video it should not be issue and this is the post uh, how to create a generate insert statements uh, from Excel and data so this is uh, where the formula is so you can take a look from here but links will be there in the description so you don't have to worry about that I hope you learning learn something new today and uh, I will see you guys in the next video thanks bye